it was clear i always wanted to be an actor every friend i have from college is a lawyer but i think i'm the only actor from all of them that hostel mein rehte rehte 6 maine 6 mahine diye the apne aap ko and i think in the 4th or 5th month mai pahunch gaya tha office by the 6th month mtv vj hunt had happened basically ek waqt tha ki they would not touch a tv actor you were like you're poison jab tv actors ko touch nahi karte the jab waqt wa main har saal pata nahi kahan se ek film hamesha karta i think the most important thing in this industry jo mujhe realize hua is not looks not talent not even hard work i won't use that term which a lot of people use it's luck ऐसे हमारी इंडस्ट्री में आप गाड़ी की चाबी टेबल पे कौन सी रखते हो उसके बेसिस पे आपका पर डे डिसाइड होता है ये सब होता है मैन आई वेंट थ्रू माय ट्रॉमा आई वाज इन अ वेरी बैड स्टेट आई वाज नियरली डाइंग इन स्टफ हाय एवरीवन वेलकम टू फेमस टीवी आई एम योर होस्ट एकता जागी एंड टुडे आई हैव विद मी अ ब्रिलियंट एक्टर हुज बीन इन द इंडस्ट्री फॉर ओवर 15 इयर्स he began his acting career with the iconic tv show remix and you've seen him in kahani ghar ghar ki ye hai mohabbatein we the serial movie gabbar is back and his latest rocky aur rani ki prem kahani with a wealth of experience he's witnessed the highs and lows of the industry and today he's here to share anecdotes about his journey the challenges successes and everything in between let's welcome raj singh aroda Hi Raj welcome to Famous TV um uh, I'm very excited to know your journey as an actor and uh, let's begin with uh, why did you want to be an actor Good question first and foremost thank you Ekta for having me I've known you for a long time The question you asked why did I want to be an actor Yeah kehte na wo when you're small you don't know much lekin main 5 saal ka tha aur meri pehli conscious decision life mein jo I don't know 5 saal bachche ko hoti hai ki nahi conscious decision lekin my I was in Russia and we had this big tv a national panasonic a vcr and all i did was watch movies and i think i knew at the age of 5 crystal clear meri zindagi uske andar hai main bahut clear tha usse pehle hum bombay mein the mujhe yaad hai main theater jata tha eros we used to stay in town mujhe yaad hai somewhere hum russia mein the uh, my father was there because he was commanding a nuclear submarine main filme dekhta tha मुझे एक वो मोमेंट याद है पाँच साल की उम्र में मैं कुछ पिक्चरें देख रहा था और मुझे एक पता नहीं कहीं से एक डिसीशन आई थी कि मेरी ज़िंदगी इस बॉक्स के अंदर है इन लाइटों के अंदर है एंड आई थिंक समवेयर बाय द एज ऑफ फिफ्टीन देर वाज नो डाउट इन माय माइंड देर वाज एब्सोल्युटली जीरो डाउट दैट आई न्यू फ्रॉम देन ऑन बिकॉज आई सच अ सिनेमा बफ बचपन से एंड ऑल काइंड इट वॉज क्लियर आई ऑलवेज वॉन्टेड टू बी एन एक्टर उसके बाद तो आई मीन देर वॉज नो डाउट एज आई स्टार्टेड ग्रोइंग अप आई थिंक मैंने अपने साथ ही रखा था आई डेंट रियली डू एनी थिंग अबाउट इज बिकॉज यू कम फ्रॉम अ मिडिल क्लास बैकग्राउंड एंड यू कम यू डोंट नो मच अबाउट सिनेमा बस एक अलग चीज़ हुई थी आई वॉज इन अ वेरी प्रोमिनेंट बोर्डिंग स्कूल इन साउथ इंडिया तो वहाँ पर थिएटर बहुत होता था और बहुत बड़े लेवल पे कि मैं फिफ्थ क्लास में था एट गॉन टू बोर्डिंग स्कूल इन ऊटी लवडिल आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग माई फर्स्ट प्लेज देर आई रिमेम्बर मिस आर विर्क माई इंग्लिश टीचर और उस वक्त मेन एम एक ही था कि लड़कियां बहुत सुंदर थी इर्द गिर्द तो आई थिंक जब मैं 10 साल का था सो फाइव आई वॉज क्लियर आई डोंट नो हाउ अ चाइल्ड हैज दैट कॉन्शियस डिसीशन बाय टेन आई वॉज डूइंग थिएटर बाय फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन आई न्यू कि जिंदगी में कुछ भी हो जाए मैं एक्टर ही बनूँ सो वेन यू डिसाइडेड एट द एज ऑफ फाइव एंड डिड यू शेयर दैट आइडिया विद योर फैमिली योर पेरेंट्स एंड वॉट वॉज दैट रिएक्शन नो आई डिड नॉट आई थिंक अच्छा है ये एक अच्छी चीज़ होती है जो हम अक्सर इस इंडस्ट्री में आके कभी कभी भूल जाते हैं जो आपके डीपेस्ट ड्रीम्स होते हैं ना वो हमेशा अपने अंदर ही रखो बट एक वक्त आया था कि जब आपने एलेवेंथ ट्वेल्थ ख़त्म की आपको जाके पढ़ना होता है और मुझे याद है उस वक्त टी वी नया नया आया था और मुझे भी कोई इंक्लिनेशन नहीं थी कि मैं एक एक्टर बन सकता हूँ क्योंकि मुझे लगता है मेरी हिंदी अच्छी नहीं है और मैं ज़्यादातर अंग्रेज़ी सिनेमा पर मतलब आई वॉज मोर ऑन हॉलीवुड इन स्टाफ लाइक दैट आई वॉच एवरी थिंग बट मुझे लगता था यार हिंदी सिनेमा में मैं ये हीरो वीरो टाइप का मुझे बचपन से वो जो गाने वाने आते थे ना फिल्म में मुझे सब मुझे फास्ट फास्ट फॉर्ड करता था बट आई थिंक वेन आई वॉज सेवनटीन एटीन दे वॉज दैट चॉइस कि माई फादर वॉन्टेड मी टू बिकम अ लॉयर सब लोग इंजीनियर डॉक्टर तो मेरे बस की बात नहीं थी बट माई फादर वॉन्टेड मी टू बिकम अ लॉयर और उस वक्त मैंने पहली बार वो डिसीशन रखी थी कि मुझे एक्टर बनना है 
my father being the smart educated man in both ways one to please me and to please himself very smartly at that point of time i think hum jammu mein rehte the uh, he was there and unhone fir pata kiya ki kya hota hai actor banne ke liye to koi school tha delhi mein to he called them wrote to them my father is a very good letter writer i think he went and met them also for me and they said ki aaj agar aapko actor banna bhi hai pehle ek education aur graduation kijiye wo bahut zaruri hai so my father came back and said you must because there is no option but then how did you after finishing your law what happened and how did you come to uh, mumbai how did you get your first break the struggles or the journey through getting your first break which was i think remix right remix yeah yeah, yeah. so this is a good question you know, i'm glad somebody's asked me this so basically law khatam hua main wapas jammu gaya jo mera hometown tha us waqt mere parents ki separation ho rahi thi they going through a separation i was thinking i was 19 20 whatever at that point of this time this is after you finished ha just like fourth year fifth year ke beech mein okay. mere parents ki separation ho rahi thi meri ek girlfriend thi college mein I shouldn't say too much, but मेरी उसके साथ सेपरेशन हो रही थी तो मैं अपने पेरेंट्स पे नहीं मैं अपने रोने धोने पर वो पहला दिल टूटा था तो देर लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स हैपनिंग एंड इट्स लाइक योर पेरेंट्स सेपरेटिंग आई थिंक आई वॉज सो फोकस्ड ऑन दैट आई हैव टू गो इन बिकम एन एक्टर बट मुझे याद है मैं वापस जम्मू आया था मैंने लॉ डिग्री अपने फादर को दे दी थी और एक पीस ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी थी जो मुझे जो मेरी माँ के लिए मुझे सिक्योर करनी थी और उसके चक्कर में मैं फंसा हुआ था मैं फटाफट ये स्टोरी कमिंग टू बॉम्बे बट मैं जा नहीं पा रहा था क्योंकि वो प्रॉपर्टी नहीं क्लियर हो रही थी तो मुझे याद है मैंने एक ही केस लड़ा है जिंदगी में जो मुझे कुछ नहीं पता मैं कोई लॉयर को ज्वाइन करता था मेरी माँ माई मदर यूज टू गो माई फादर एड मूव टू द यू एस टू गेट दैट लैंड सॉटेड और वो लॉयर लोग इंडिया में ना बड़ा कुछ डिले करते हैं मैं सब कुछ डिले करते हैं मैं एक दिन मैं कोर्ट गया था मुझे याद है मुझे कुछ लॉस है मुझे बस बॉम्बे जाना था एक्टर बनने यू सो नाई यू जस्ट हैव ड्रीम्स एंड डिजायर्स एंड हालत बहुत बुरी थी घर में उस वक्त मतलब सडनली थिंग्स वो कोलेप्सिंग एवरी वेयर बिकॉज माई पेरेंट्स वो सेपरेटिंग मनी इशू स्टार्टेड हैपनिंग ऑल दिस बट मुझे याद है कि ये प्रॉपर्टी थी और वो प्रॉपर्टी के कारण मैं फंसा हुआ था क्योंकि मुझे वो अपनी माँ के लिए सिक्योर करनी थी और मैं वेट कर रहा था कि ये लॉयर्स वॉयर्स कुछ करें अब मुझे लॉ मैंने पढ़ा था लॉ प्रैक्टिस करना अलग बात होती है बट एक दिन मुझे याद है मैं कोर्ट में था और ये जो सीनियर लॉयर था वो नहीं आया था उसका एक जूनियर आया था वो कोर्ट में कुछ बकचक कर रहा था मेरी डिजायर एक्टर बनने की इतनी स्ट्रांग थी तब तक तो चार पांच महीने हो गए थे मुझे जाना था मैं खड़ा हुआ कोर्ट में मैंने जज से कुछ बातें की कि दिस द केस दिस योर लॉर्डशिप पता नहीं कुछ फिल्म हुई वाली मैंने फुल फिल्मी मैंने मतलब कुछ किया था आई डोंट नो वॉट आई स्पोक वॉट आई डिड दैट केस वुड है ईयर और टू मो बट सडनली दैट जज हर्ड मी आउट इन द मिडल ऑफ द कोर्ट and he said uh, okay the land is in your mother's name this is this case dismissed cut i just remember that moment and i'm like wo jo junior lawyer tha wo panic mein aa gaya kyunki case haath se nikal gaya to anyway that was the wo ek key point tha aur meri you, you won that case i won that the yeah. one and only oh, case wow. that i fought and i think my father was right i would do very well but i just stood up in i remember that moment so well i stood up in court i said something very logical which to me was logical was probably illogical and he cleared the case and mujhe yaad hai uske baad maine ek single backpack kiya mere paas ek royal enfield motorcycle hota tha wo maine becha hai jo mujhe bada pyara tha uske mujhe 40000 rupaye mile the cell phones the hamare paas mujhe yaad hai kuch sony ericsson ya bosch ka phone tha aur mujhe yaad hai main pata nahi kaise kyun my mother gave me the backup my father had moved to the us he was in the merchant navy by then एंड मुझे याद है मैं ट्रेन में चढ़ रहा हूँ एक बैग के साथ अपनी माँ को बाय बोल रहा हूँ एंड शी सिंह बाय टू में मेरी माँ ने अपना एक स्वेटर निकाला था ब्लू रंग का और मुझे दिया था कि ठंड ना लगे और मैं बॉम्बे पहुँचा हूँ ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड वन टू थाउजेंड टू आई फॉर्ट एम वेरी बैड विद ईयर्स एंड डेट्स एंड मेरे दो लॉ के दोस्त थे जिनकी प्लेसमेंट हुई थी बॉम्बे में और मुझे बॉम्बे में सिर्फ साउथ मुंबई पता था क्योंकि मैं बचपन में वहाँ पर पला बड़ा था तो मुझे मरीन ड्राइव तक बॉम्बे पता था उसके बाद मुझे पता था एक बैंड्रा आता है उसके बाद मुझे कुछ नहीं पता था कि बॉम्बे में क्या होता है द जर्नी टू बॉम्बे एज एन एक्टर बिगिन्स विद दैट फाइनल थिंग ऑफ फिनिशिंग लॉ माय पेरेंट्स सेपरेटिंग आई थिंक इफ माय पेरेंट्स हैड मे बी नॉट सेपरेटेड माई फादर वुड नॉट हैव लेट मी गो आई समटाइम्स आई ऑलवेज गिव दिस जस्टिफिकेशन टू माई सेल्फ दैट आई वुंट हैड द इंडिपेंडेंस टू जस्ट गो इन लीड माई लाइफ माई वे बट बॉम्बे मुझे ये मैं पूरे होशो आवाज में कह रहा हूँ मेरे पास कुछ नहीं था ना मैं किसी को जानता था बॉम्बे में सिवाय वो जो दो दोस्त जिनकी इंटर्नशिप हुई थी 
मैं बॉम्बे उतरा था दिसंबर 25 फिफ्थ टू थाउजेंड वन एक बैग के साथ चालीस हजार वो एच के अकाउंट में जो मैंने डाले थे मुझे कुछ नहीं पता रियलिस्टिकली एज अ एटीन नाइनटी आई वॉज ट्वेंटी एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम मुझे दिखता था वीजे मुझे पता था ये मैं कर सकता हूँ आई कैन बिकम अ वीडियो जॉकी एंड इवेंचुअली आई वुड वॉन्ट टू बी अ वीडियो जॉकी एंड देन आई वुड लाइक टू बी अ फिल्म क्रिटिक होस्ट दैट वॉज माई वेरी क्लियर आई डोंट नो वेदर इट मेड सेंस और नॉट एंड आई थिंक टेलीविजन में दे वॉज क्यू की कहानी आई नेवर वॉच दम इवन दो एंडेड अप डूइंग दम मैंने देखा ही नहीं था ये सब एक ही शो था बनेगी अपनी बात जब हम छोटे थे वो मैं देखता था हिंदी बाकी मैं कुछ नहीं देखता था सो आई केम यर आई रिमेंबर आई वेंट टू द चैनल वी ऑफिस स्ट्रेट और मैं घुस गया अंदर आई वेंट अप स्टेयर एंड आई सेट आई वॉन्ट टू बी ए दे सेट वी लेट यू नो वॉट हैपन वॉज बेसिकली आई गेव माई सेल्फ सिक्स मंथस एंड दीज आर थिंग अभी मैं वापस सोचता हूँ और क्योंकि मैंने कुछ रिवर्स नहीं किया जब मैं वापस देखता हूँ I don't know what I was doing. I mean, I was just a kid who came with one bag, no connections, no contacts, no money. Things going haywire. Friends doing law, very serious about what they wanted to do, and all I wanted to do was become a VJ. Six months they gave me. And I think in the fourth or fifth month, I reached the office. By the sixth month, MTV VJ Hunt had happened. It was a great experience. I met a lot of people, but I got to be in front of the camera for the first time. It was the very first time I did anything for the camera. I was on air like that. So then, how did remix happen? Remix happened because of Rajma Chawla. What? Yeah, I had never really come to Andheri ever before. I didn't know that Sara Kam here is done. My life was in Marine Drive. Pe hi hoti thi. Aur main apne dilu- But uh, my father in the Navy, my father's father was a course batchmate. So his kids were in the industry. Mein the. तो एक दिन मुझे पापा ने बोला कि यार ये मिस्टर मेहता इज कॉलिंग यू ओवर आया मुझे नहीं जाना सो so उनके बेटे ने मुझे फोन किया वेरी स्वीट ऑफ मैन आई ओ हेम अ लॉट एन आई स्टिल डू कहता हाय माय नेम इज नकुल सो दिस इज नकुल मेहता दी एक्टर ओ सो नकुल मेहता कॉल्स मी एंड सेज हाय माय नेम इज नकुल आई गॉट योर नंबर वाई डोंट यू कम ओवर फॉर डिनर इन नॉज लाइक नहीं नहीं यार ओके आई डोंट वॉन्ट मीट एनी बडी आई डोंट आई नेवर लाइक टेकिंग फेवर इट्स लाइक कम नो वी मेड राजमा चावल लाइक वट राजमा चावल अब हम जम्मू वालों की खासियत है मैं राजमा चावल बड़े अच्छे लगते हैं बट एनी सब नॉर्थ वालों की हाँ राजमा चावल इज लाइक दैट्स लाइक आर अल्टीमेट मील सो आई सेड ओके आल कम सो आई वेंट टू नकुल्स हाउस अंधेरी एंड आई रिमेंबर बोथ इज पेरेंट्स ही एन एज सिस्टर खाना वाना खाया सो इज लाइक सो वॉट एन इज अ बॉम्बे बॉय एन ई नोज द इंडस्ट्री वो उस पर फिल्में कर रहा था कहता सो वॉट यू डूइंग नथिंग जस्ट वेटिंग आई डेट दिस एम टी विजन सो उस वक्त ही टोल नहीं कहता डू यू नो दीज एजेंट्स एंड यू नो कास्टिंग लाइक नो आई डोंट नो एनी बडी इस लाइक ओके सो यू गेम मी वन पर्सन उस पर एक नई नई प्रोफेशनल एजेंसी खुरी शुरू हुई थी दो बंदों ने शुरू की थी बैंड्राम में था तो इस लाइक ये दो हैं को एन मीट दैन सर ओके मेरा क्या है कोई भी आए मेरा क्या है और उस वक्त मुझे पहली बार पता चल रहा कि फेमस स्टूडियो में एड उस वक्त अंधेरी में ऑडिशन नहीं होते थे ज़्यादा फेमस स्टूडियो में होते थे सो वहाँ पर भी मैंने जाना शुरू किया था I didn't understand anything, but I went to these two guys in Bandra, Makhija or something. I'm very prominent guys, so I said, "Hi, my name is Raj. I've come here to be an actor." Blah 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 blah. They said, "You have to fill out a form. You have to give us pictures, and you have to put fifteen hundred rupees ki entry." I remember this fifteen hundred rupees. Ka pandra so rupee. Main kaise dunga, boy? Maine ka look badi. I don't have pictures. I don't have the money to give you. I'll fill out your form. If there is something that you feel is right, call me, and I'll pay you later on. Kata, you have to fill out the form, and you have to pay the fifteen hundred. That's our rule. Basically, he was an agency, and he was getting a roster of clients. Just like now, agencies are coming. He started the first one, and Nakul gave me a one number. He went there and I met him. He said, "Look, brother, he won't give you fifteen hundred. We won't take you. Because that is our rule. Because that's." I didn't know which angle to jump on. 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 I didn't know I don't know what happened, and I think that time साल के ऊपर हो गया था वो हॉस्टल वाले कहते भाई तुम निकलो यहाँ से अभी बहुत हो गया तुम यहाँ पे नहीं रह सकते so I come this side to Charco where I'm staying. One day I remember I got a call from this agent saying that there is a show called Remix being produced by these people. Can you go for a meeting? I said yeah, of course. I had no idea about TV. Neither did I watch Q K. I didn't have a TV. I didn't watch TV. I knew cinema. I wanted to be a VJ still. I went and met Goldie Bhalan, Shristi Arya in the okay. office. 
एंड मुझे याद है पहली बार एक स्क्रिप्ट ट्रिप मिली थी अभी अगेन आई एम गोइंग इन डू और उस स्क्रिप्ट में मुझे कुछ नहीं समझ आया कि अच्छा ये डायलॉग है ये डायलॉग है ये बट मुझे याद है मैं चेस खेलता हूँ शतरंज खेलता हूँ मुझे बचपन से शतरंज का बहुत शौक है और बाप और बेटे में ना जब डायलॉग थे उसमें शतरंज का मैंशन था कि इट्स लाइक अ चेस गेम इन पॉलिटिक्स एंड ऑल तो मुझे वो दैट कॉट मी लाइक यू नीड सम इंटरेस्ट एज एन एंड आई रिमेंबर आई डोंट नो वॉट आई डोंट नो वेदर आई गेव एन ऑडिशन आई डोंट रिमेंबर एनी थिंग बट एग्जैक्टली टू वीक्स लेटर ऑन आई हैड गॉट अ कॉल फ्रॉम द एजेंट सिंग यू आर बीन सिलेक्टेड पैसे बहुत कम थे एजेंट सेड राज यू आर अ ब्रिलियन सेम गाई आई स्टिल हैवन गिवन एम फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड रुपीज आई डोंट हैव पिक्चर्स बिकॉज पोर्टफोलियो वोटफोलियो तो सोच भी नहीं सकता था मैं मैं क्या था मैं किसी स्टूडियो में जाके मैंने चार बकवास पिक्चर्स खिंचवाई थी बट एनी वे सो ही सेट डोंट डू इट वील गेट यू अ बिगर बालाजी शो एंड ऑल दैट नो आई वॉन्ट टू डू दिस शो बिकॉज आई डेंट डू एनी थिंग फॉर एनी मुझे थोड़ा ना समझ थी मुझे बस ये था कि मुझे कनेक्ट था आई रिमेंबर आई थिंक इट वॉज गोल्डी बेहल ही वॉज द ही वॉज समथिंग अबाउट हिम दैट रियली and there is a lot of show but anyway hmm. so that's when he to, i remember this phone call in bandra mere ko maine mummy papa se thode paise le maine ko mujhe thode kapde lene hai bhai thode kapde mere paas nahi hai itne fancy wale but anyway so this guy called me the production head of uh, rose audio visual then he said that look buddy you better take a call do you want to do this or not hmm. and my agent not agent whatever he was is like don't do it we will get you lakh deed lakh and all that mujhe kuch paiso se mujhe aaj bhi nahi hai maine kaha no i want to do that show You Is resonated it, with the characters. No, I don't know. I don't know any resonate. Ha, maybe that chess thing that I remember somewhere. You, yeah, somewhere. Exactly. So I said yes to remix, mm-hmm. and that was a game changer. And the reason I'm saying it is, it's 20 years now to remix, nearly 18, 20. Beech me, bhot ko chaya. Remix is so cult. No show, no film has come close to its cult status. Or uske bhot karan hai. But I have had experiences with. some of the most prominent people every day film bollywood stars who have come to me in times and just gone gaga over remix that show just completely changed my life and it's a huge learning it was a friends for indians right i, I sort of like you know had that friends status maybe yeah in the sense i think what it was and there's nothing like it on tv we it was a show that dealt with kids and parents of course it was cool I don't think I was very cool, but it was cool. I was, but I had this, but it dealt with women having bulimia, parents, friendships, dreams, aspirations. But for me, I was so like I don't remember. I was so focused in remix because एक acting की opportunity मिली थी success success मुझे कुछ नहीं पता था मुझे बस पता था उस वक्त कि मैं काम कर रहा हूँ focus है मैं कुछ सीख रहा हूँ और मैं उसी में इतना tight था मेरी मेरे ब्लाइंडर्स लगे हुए थे कि मैं जब काम करता हूँ नो पार्टी नो नथिंग जब मैं नहीं काम कर रहा था आई एम द मोस्ट इनडिसिप्लिन बट रीमिक्स के टाइम मेरा फोकस ऐसे था आई वाज जस्ट इन दैट कैरेक्टर आई वाज ट्राइंग टू डू द बेस्ट और मुझे बहुत देर तक आई डेंट गेट सो मच अप्रिसिएशन आई थिंक रीमिक्स वॉज ऑल्सो वेरी प्रोग्रेसिव शो पाथ ब्रेकिंग आई मीन टेल मी डू यू थिंक दैट इंडस्ट्री फ्रॉम देन टू नाउ हाउ डू यू थिंक द इंडस्ट्री इज इवॉल्व टू अ टाइम I think what TV could not do and cannot do because of its restrictions of SNP uh, standards and practices because हम बहुत आम जनता को जाते हैं वो OTT ने अभी तोड़ दी है तो इसलिए OTT is doing well because TV ने बहुत कोशिशें की और आज भी करनी चाहिए because I've always मैंने जो दो तीन shows किए हैं मैंने कभी भी कुछ मासी ऐसा नहीं किया हालांकि I've been a part but they've always been part breaking कहानी घर घर की कहानी was that's again a story but I'd done that But ये है मोहब्बत वॉज द लास्ट कल्ट शो दैट आई डन विच वॉज अगेन अ पाथ ब्रेकिंग बेस्ड ऑन अ बुक बट रीमिक्स वॉज आई मीन इट वॉज जस्ट अ टाइम फ्रेम दैट समथिंग हैपन एंड नथिंग इज टच इट समटाइम्स आई वंडर की आई रियली नीड टू डू समथिंग मच बिगर मे बी यूर प्लेइंग अ फादर इन अ शो और समथिंग विच काइंड ऑफ डज दैट वे बट रीमिक्स वॉज अनबिलीवेबल सक्सेस एंड हमें पता ही नहीं था बहुत देर तक कि इट हैज बिकम सो सक्सेसफुल हमें तो एक साल के बाद पता चला बिकॉज हम सुबह आठ बजे जाते थे रात को दस बजे आते थे एंड इट वॉज अ वन आवर डेली जो आज तक हिंदुस्तान में कभी नहीं हुआ है ऑल शोज आर हाफ एन आवर वी और अ वन आवर डेली विच वॉज लाइक टू यूनिट शूटिंग ऑल द किड्स बट पाथ ब्रेकिंग डायलॉग्स द एक्टिंग सो मच टू लर्न सो मनी मिस्टेक्स आई रिमेंबर बट इन फैशन एवरी थिंग एज यू सेट या नथिंग इज टच इट अभी जैसे एक दो चीज़ें आई शोज वोज मुझे लगा 
فائنلی نیٹ فلکس یا امیزون میں شوز کے نام نہیں لوں گا بٹ مجھے لگا وہ ریمکس کو ڈی تھرون کر دیں گے ود دس یگ جنریشن آف ایکٹرس ٹارگیٹ ناٹ ایون کلوز ڈیزاسٹرس آن او ٹی ٹی آئی فیلڈ لائک آئی فیلڈ کی بیکاز ایز اے سنیما ویور آئی فیلڈ کی اوکے کچھ تو ریمکس کو توڑے گا بیس سال کے بعد مانے سترہ اٹھارہ سال ہو گئے نو دے ہیون ٹچڈ اٹ the same with friends also right friends is such a long yeah, probably. show but nothing and there's so many creative there are a lot of good stories that have come yeah, out but, but nothing is really haan, nothing the is show still remains very very relatable yeah, and so i think remix also had that essence I, i need people like such prominent people sometimes they are singing the songs and dance steps and i have forgotten it and like i went to a massive restaurant opening by some prominent بھائی انہوں نے رات بھر گانے گائے ہیں ریمکس کے مجھے یاد نہیں ہے ان کو ڈانس اسٹیپس یاد ہے ان کو ڈائلاگس یاد ہیں لائک واؤ ڈوڈ دیٹ شوز ہیڈ اے ویری بگ ریزنس ان انڈیا اینڈ ویری اینڈ دیٹ کائنڈ آف سم ویئر اسپوائلڈ می آلسو بیکاز آئی انڈرسٹوڈ کہ وہ اسٹرگل کے بعد جب آپ کو کچھ ملا تو ورتھی ملا یونیورس سے تو وہ مجھے ایک مجھے لگتا ہے کبھی کبھی میں نے وہ سیکھ نہیں لی کہ آپ کو سب کچھ کر لینا چاہیے جو بھی ملے میں دیر لاٹ آف تھنگس آئی ایم ناٹ ڈن بیکاز اٹس آلویز بین گڈ کوالٹی ورک دیٹس ہیڈ این امپیکٹ آن دی آڈیو If you look at both American TV, I'm talking about TV, not the current OTT. I'm talking about television. Yeah, yeah, yeah television. television. Yeah, yeah, we're talking so about that. So we all would be nostalgic about maybe the DD days or whatever the Bunyad and other shows that came at that point of time. Then satellite television came. There was uh, Banegi Apni Baath and other shows. Then Remix came. I personally find Jassi to be the most... موسٹ آسم شو دیٹ واز ایور دے آئی ووڈ لو ٹو ڈو اے شو میں نے اس کے لیے بھی آڈیشن کیا تھا بائی دا وے ڈی جی ایس کے لیے آئی آئی آڈیشن فار جسی ٹائی وائی ایسے پہن کے میں نے مجھے پتہ ہی نہیں تھا اس کا نام کیا تھا اس وقت پتہ نہیں کیا فراڈ نام لیا تھا نہیں تو اف ناٹ ریمکس آئی ووڈ ہیو بین پلیئنگ دا ڈی جی ایس کا دیٹ اپورو والا کیریکٹر آئی ایڈ آڈیشن فار دیٹ آلسو آئی ریمبر بٹ آئی تھنک ٹی وی کا میں سچ بتاؤں اٹس آلویز گون بیک بیک ورڈ یا 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 دیر از نو ڈاؤٹ But I also feel this such, it's such a deep topic to have and to discuss. The way I see it is always Hamari, at least in India, especially, be it films, TV or something, somebody comes and puts up a fight. That one show comes and puts up a fight. So be it Remix, Jassi, Balika Vadu, Ye Hai Mohabbate. I think it's Anupama today which is doing very well, though I haven't seen it. Yeah, yeah I've heard that that's also very progressive. This The only progressive yeah. show that we have. Apparently. I think what the problem happens is there are too many checks and balances. There's too much trying to follow what other people are doing. When one person takes something different, then there are 100 people who follow in our industry. Right. Mein. حالانکہ اٹ شوڈ بی لائک ایٹ لیسٹ دس لوگ کچھ نیا کریں اور پھر دس یا بیس فالو کریں ہمارے یہاں پہ ایک آتا ہے جو فائٹ کرتا ہے اور ابھی اس وقت میں آئی ایگری ود یو ٹی وی از ان اے ویری بیڈ اسٹیٹ او ٹی ٹی ہیز ٹیکن اٹس پلیس لیکن جو وہ کمفرٹ ٹی وی کا ہے کہ آج بھی آپ ریموٹ آن کر کے اپنی فیملی کے ساتھ بیٹھ کے دیکھو دیٹ از دیر بٹ آئی تھنک دا تھنگ از چینج بٹ ٹو آنسر یور کوشچن یس اٹ ہیز گون بیک بٹ آئی آلویز سے سم بڈیل کم اپ ان پوٹ آف اے فائٹ ود اے نیو اسٹوری اینڈ دے شوڈ بی گیون اے چانس اینڈ I think channels should not rely on their marketing and research and dynamics and MBA degrees and it's all, whatever. It's all about TRP. Yeah, corporate. But, you know, as artists, you never know what works. Be it film, TV, OTT, you do not know what will work. Yeah. You just don't. Do not try to box it into a product thing. I think you have to give people freedom. And whatever is good, the biggest problem is, and this is what I've seen, be it Remix or YHM, is the interference which comes after somebody has put up a fight as a writer, production house, creative actors. And after one year, the corporates want to kind of put it into a different direction and that's when it falls. Yeah. I've seen that with every path breaking show I've done. It, it just comes in, make it Monday to Sunday, make it only about the leads, oh, the audience wants this, boom, it's gone. That yeah. one year of TV is what is always the best. Two year is a fight, by third year they've put it down. They've just killed it. It's like, I always look at it as ki ek, you have a golden goose, wo ek anda de rahi hai, aur suddenly sab aake uski gardan kaat ke saare ande nikalne ki koshish karte hain, that's where it destroys it. But that's, right. that's the reality and I hope there is some new TV that comes. If there is, I hope I'm a part of it. Yeah, I hope so too. After doing TV, you've done so many, you know, you've done really big TV shows. Then how did you break into movies? What was that journey like? Basically, it's very difficult for a TV actor to break into films because it was a stigma. Lag jata hai. Hmm. I think the only guy who really broke it, look at Shahrukh, but that's a different time. But I think Shishan did it. Yeah. Uh, he, he really, really did it. I like, agree. I know umpteen number of actors who have tried. 
I'll also put Ronit Roy uh, yeah. as one of the best actors there. But there are people who have always done it. I was one of those who kind of just skipped the surface and did a little bit of work. I really haven't done a lead or something in a film. But I've done like so. I think anywhere from last Karan Johar to Ram Gopal Verma. Whatever you've done, you made your presence felt, yeah, yeah. and and I think that's also a huge. So thing, films but... happen basically. One was that they would not touch a TV actor. You're like you're poison. I somehow managed to break that again because of remix. Because that show, all the filmmakers ne dekha tha, all the ads ne dekha tha, sab ne dekha tha. They and Out of those four of us, two were a conventional yeah. thing, good looking and thing, and two were weird. That was me and the other girl. And I kind of and you have to deliver in auditions. I mean, हमारे पास कोई हमारे घर वाले बैंड्रा जो हमें नहीं बैठे हैं, ना ही हमारे पास उस तरह का एक वो है कि हम जाएं और मतलब कि हमें लीड मिल जाए. So it was a fight. It was constantly a fight as auditioning, 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 and then it started working. So. From Karan Johar to Ram Gopal Verma to who are the other people I've worked with, I've just auditioned and I've got it. So it happened that way. Yeah. It's not like some massive thing happened and suddenly I came as a hero. I think Gabbar did really. Gabbar is back. Did really well. That, but love. Just say you. So if you don't know, Ekta, like every time I meet her in a party in Bombay or something, she comes and tells me about uh, the last film, Rocky or Rani. Just get four scenes there and one scene was left. But she always gives me such a high praise. और मुझे अब समझ आती क्योंकि वो मुझे गब्बर से समझ आई थी तो गब्बर भी एक फिल्म थी जब मैं कर रहा था मुझे लग रहा था क्या है ये ये क्या बना रहा है बिकॉज दे वो सेवरल थिंग्स आई वांट गिव यू एनेक्डोट्स अबाउट अदर थिंग बट इट वाज अ साउथ इंडियन डायरेक्टर मेकिंग मुझे समझ नहीं आ रही क्या फिल्म बना रहे हैं क्या हो रहा है मेरे मुश्किल से तीन सीन थे एक छोटा सा स्टार्टिंग में एक जैदी पलावाद के साथ जिसकी एक बड़ी अच्छी इंसिडेंट है बट वो जो एक सीन था मैंने किया मुझे कुछ नहीं इट वॉज लाइक जस्ट अ नॉर्मल सीन शुक्र है लाइने याद थी I think one take or two takes done and khatam went. I have gone after that from Karnataka to Ladakh to wherever. Or I get to understand that because I always thought that in our country, the audience only sees a hero. You never see side characters. No, but that's changing now. That's changing. It is, actually. but by and large, in India, this is the case. That the audience is not always seeing the side characters. No, but that's changing now. That's changing. It is, actually. but by and large, in India, this is the case. That the audience is not always seeing the side characters. No, but that's changing now. That's changing. It is, but by and large, in India, this is the case. That the audience is not always seeing the side characters. No, but that's changing now. That's changing. kahani be the serial be the serial was another path breaking show then by chem but gabbar ka ek alag wo aata tha ki are wo gabbar ka tha to tumhe yaad kaise hai bhai but i think somebody once explained it to me kehta raj wo scene itna pivotal tha film mein ki logo ko yaad hai maine kaha acha theek hai so they said you did it well and all but yeah. mujhe hamesha lagta tha ki ye jo ek scene wali baatein nahi but uske baad main tu bhi mujhe milti hai itne log milte hain rocky aur rani ke liye ha no that was the last that i saw you in and then i was like oh yeah, yeah. So i saw you in the scene and you were it proves that if, tell, right? if you're an honest actor you do your job to the best of your abilities no matter who the stars around you are no matter what the scale of the film is and you might feel small you can make an impact and i personally believe that because bachpan se mujhe hamesha side kirdar bahut prominent dikhte hain so films happened basically that way i've done around 12 14 of them yeah. Yeah, i have not kept a count i have to keep because us din mai dekha tha imdb pe rocky rani nahi aayi hai abhi i don't know how to get it and i just doing something international and they said what is your last project i said rocky rani ka ek scene abhi wo ek scene mujhe imdb pe dikh nahi raha halaki credits mein hai naam But films happen. I think I'm due to do one more in Jan Feb. Films, I have always. I don't know how to put it. Ekta, I was that one TV actor. So keeping aside people doing big roles and you know as leads or heroes, but every year I did a film. Every year, even when TV actors को touch नहीं करते थे, जब वक्त वा, मैं हर साल पता नहीं कहाँ से एक film हमेशा करता हूँ. Whether मैं काम कर रहा हूँ as a big TV show. वेदर मैं आउट ऑफ वर्क हूँ वेदर मैं रो रहा हूँ वेदर मैं डिप्रेस्ड एज एन आर्टिस्ट सोच रहा हूँ कि मुझे काम नहीं मिल रहा मैं मेरे को एक बड़ी प्रोमिनेंट फिल्म आती है और क्यों आती है मुझे आज तक समझ नहीं है बट उसने हमेशा रखा है बिकॉज आई थिंक ये रॉकी रानी भी इट केम इन कोविड सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट योर एक्सपीरियंस विद वर्किंग विद अक्षय कुमार हाउ इज एज एन एक्टर एज अ पर्सन शॉर्टेड आई थिंक अक्षय कुमार हैव अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग मीटिंग अगेन सो आई जस्ट क्विकली रीमिक्स First remix party, Shishri Didi, Goldie Bell connected to the industry. So our very first party, we go in. Abhishek Bachchan, Rani Mukherjee, Akshay Kumar, blah 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 blah. Every known person is there in the Juhu party, and it's our launch. And Didi had kept a pearl. Akshay Kumar ka main ek cheez batata hu, which will when you shake hands with him, be very careful. 
that man squeezes your hand matlab oh, wow. you remember his handshake us insaan ka matlab wo aise haath mein la ke ha just give me your hand no, just give me so he when oh. he shakes your hand you will never forget his handshake and to work with yeah good he is good i mean in the sense you know professional i, I remember two actors that i worked with jinko koi insecurity nahi hai koi problems nahi hai जो अपने काम से काम रखते हैं एक विवेक ओबरॉय मैंने की थी जयंता भाई की लव स्टोरी विच इज अ वेरी गुड फिल्म डिड वेरी वेल ऑन टीवी एंड अक्षय कुमार नो हैंग आप क्या कर रहे हैं आपकी लाइनें क्या हैं नो इनसिक्योरिटीज अक्षय इज अथ स्टार आई थिंक ही हग मी इन गब्बर ना आई थिंक दर इज अन इन विच ही हग्स मी अच्छा समथिंग आई रिमेंबर दैट अबाउट अक्षय कुमार हगिंग मी and shaking my hand by I, i remember don't shake his hand you'll remember it for the next two days oh matlab hath he grips man that guy very good guy is a good guy mm-hmm. and he had a beard in it i think in gabbar if i remember look very handsome i think he looks good in a beard the man yeah okay so why do you think akshay kumar being an outsider why do you think he has been able to make it so big in the industry he's so hard working hard working yeah. hard working but i think always outsiders i think the classic example and i don't want to use the cliche sharukh khan because it's always the outsider they have more drive yeah. they have more fight than anybody else and akshay kumar i think hamari industry mein na aksar cheeze na cyclically hamari spiritual india se repeat hoti hain agar aap notice karo okay. so ek waqt tha dilip kumar raj kapoor saab devanand i share my birthday with devanand oh wow wo aaye the ek waqt pe wo teen star the aaj aapke paas sharukh salman aamir hain एक सिक्लिकल है सो आई थिंक अक्षय कुमार अगर आप प्लेस कीजिए ना एक उनके करंट करियर ग्राफ में तो हमारे उस वक्त एक होते थे आई थिंक हाँ मनोज कुमार उन्होंने बहुत पेट्रियोटिक फिल्में बनाई एग्जैक्टली द काइंड ऑफ वे अक्षय इज डूइंग राइट नाउ तो वो एक मास कमर्शियल फिल्म्स बनाते थे जिसमें एक इंडिया के प्रति प्रेम और वो तो आई थिंक अक्षय इज जस्ट अ एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ दैट एंड आई फील ऑलवेज आई थिंक द ग्रेटेस्ट एक्टर इन दिस कंट्री मोर देन एनी थिएटर NSD FTI is Mr Amitabh Bachchan the ultimate outsider. I love that man. I tell me a better actor than him anywhere on planet earth man. Al Pacino maybe. But uh, I think Mr Bachchan and Akshay Kumar and Shahrukh Khan and so many new people and I think why are they successful? Because they just have something in them. Either it's What talent. What do you think that is? I think the most important thing in this industry jo mujhe realize hua hai is not looks, not talent. not even hard work i won't use that term which a lot of people use it's luck and there is no explaining it it's luck it's all about luck and whether luck comes from talent whether luck comes from hard work is a combination you can pick but there is no dearth of talented people in this industry hard working people uh, good looking people connected people uh, people who have all the resources together but luck that's the most important some people are lucky all the time i think i somewhat agree to that yeah, yeah so some yeah. people are lucky all the time some people are never lucky some people are lucky sometimes me i be- i believe in that i i wish i was lucky all the time yeah. like a salman or a shahrukh when when i mean by luck what i don't mean is just that fame and all i just mean the ability to always be working yeah. to always have work but at the same time i'm glad i'm not on the other side of people who never have anything at least you're somewhere where you get yeah you deliver yeah and people like it people appreciate you and though right now i really need some luck in my life to get something really prominent but i think what is luck i don't know is it god's touch is it time is it place is it whether you i always feel jaise mr bachchan ki baat karta hu na aur sharukh ki mujhe unme ek hamesha ek ek cheez dikhti hai so dilip kumar and all these were post independence stars who gave the audience of course to the writers and the filmmakers from mehboob khan to whoever that made naya daur or sorry my hindi cinema is back in but they kind of went that india has to make industries and progress or whatever and love mr bachchan came at a time when the angry young man that's actually a phrase from the british playwrights but what he represented in india was the lack of jobs money or trying to make yeah. a life and then when the mr bachchan phase goes off after 20 years comes sharukh which i personally feel is the most dangerous phase that came but the most necessary Why? whereby because sharukh came and told you india before that pre pre liberalization was a very conservative country which believed in socialistic values and sharukh came and said took brands in his hand and said be greedy make money 
he came and taught India basically through his presence and I'm nobody to speak but this is my observation and it's my personal observation I people go are Shahrukh ka ye Shah no he came and taught India basically don't be apologetic about making money of having things that's what he kind of for a society in larger okay. dimension basically came and said money 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 make the manath buy the cars BMW Tommy Hilfiger ye, you notice Karan Johar came at a time when designer shoes started coming in blatant commercialism and which, which is what India needed at that time exactly yeah I don't think anything is wrong in that there's because, nothing wrong with yeah, that like because it's it's basically all the people working hard you know they are striving for that yeah, but yeah. not very a lot of people will openly uh, so he did that say but that I, but I think now we need somebody who really needs to balance out balance that out. extreme because I think we're getting lost yeah I think somebody needs to come and pull back and put down the value because we needed that and now also there is things happening and you know uh, whatever and I think now Mr. Modi is doing his own bit but we need somebody to tell us that okay there's the cars and the brands and your TikToks and your reels yeah. and your thing but let's come back to a little bit of semblance somebody has to come and balance it out because now we are going tipping the balance to the wrong side and India as a spiritual country is kind of tipping over a little bit it's going too much into the brands and consumerism and too much into all this which is not our basic philosophy we're also sort of running a global race and it's the kind of leaders yeah, and the people the celebrities the way they kind of because india may usually aam janta ek wo spiritual level pe strong hoti hai lekin abhi because of the internet it suddenly like, the we are, culture because yeah. all of us are a generation which grew up without the internet hum addicted hain apne phones ke sath to aap socho niche mane as kids who were growing up yeah i just feel that Every actor represents a larger, a spiritual perspective of a nation. Amitabh Bachchan, Shah Rukh Khan. But I think now it's time for something different a little bit, something more. What about Ranveer Kapoor and Ranveer Singh? I love him, I love him, I love him. I think you've got it, you've hit the nail. Ranveer exactly, is the man. Exactly, yeah. I think Ranveer he's, is the man. He's what you're looking for. Ranveer maybe. is the man. Talented, sorted, not on social media, though he is. I know his Instagram. Everybody knows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. First and foremost, Liberans rule. All the greatest actors are always Liberans. Bachchan Saab, Ranbir Kapoor, Shami Kapoor, Rekha, all the, I mean, I mean other great actors and stars but Liberans have a special dominion over having a kind of a screen presence in front of the camera. I don't know what it is about Liberans. They all have, they're not the best looking or whatever but yes coming back to you Ranbir. He's the man. He's the man. I think he's the new what I was trying to say you kind yeah, of gave yeah. me my answer because I think no, because who? whatever that you were saying I could only picture a, Ran, a Ranveer Kapoor yeah, yeah. in my head like I yeah. couldn't picture the other contemporaries yeah, yeah. of his as yeah, that yeah, there's yeah. too much flamboyance Ranveer is quiet yeah Ranveer is talented and he has the things but you can make out it doesn't affect him, affect him he yes. is somebody who's just pure talent art and a new soup. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ranbir Kapoor, hands down. Love the guy, yeah. man. Love him. Respect him. From Rocket Singh, Wake Up Sid, Tamasha. Did you see Animal? Oh, I loved it. You loved it? A lot of people had a problem with Animal with preconceived agendas in their head. If you go and see it as cinema, two things happen. One, when I saw it, I thought it'll be this loud South Indian film. I couldn't take my eyes off the screen. I just couldn't move. That film is a genre defying film. It's like it's in its genre so you can't blame it and I remember I saw The Godfather which I've seen probably 300 times yeah. and I saw a scene in which which I've seen which I, which I didn't think about also but post Animal I saw Al Pacino slapping Dan Keaton and I was like nobody said anything Dan. She says I'm pregnant and I dropped the child because I did not want to bring another child into this Michael, this Michael I don't want to bring him anywhere. Nobody said anything. Nobody said anything to Coppola and Scorsese and all these people in the 70s, the new independent wave of American filmmakers. So if there is somebody doing something, yes, you can take offense to it and all. But I didn't see any of that. I think one scene tha, jo mujhe bhi laga, wo jute wala kuch tha. Right, like, right. But wo bhi thik hai. that's the only one in I agree with. Wo thoda sa push tha. But I was film mein gum ho gaya tha. Mujhe kuch dekhi nahi raha tha. Mujhe to pas Ranbir Kapoor ki performance dekh rahi thi aur wo that that you know like one is violence in a different way and 
This was like really fun as a story. I love Ranveer, man. I love him. I love him. You know, he he did amazing. The yeah, way, yeah. Animal the way he acted, I think he's just literally the entire Bollywood and him. Yeah, yeah. Ranveer. I mean, from Rocket Singh. Yeah, yeah. From Rocket Singh, us bande ki sincerity change nahi hui. Wo same. Chahe wo Rocket Singh ho, Wake Up Sid meri par. Jaise ek film thi, jo mujhe samajh nahi hai. Aur maine usse bahut galiyan nikali. Tamasha. Maine theater mein dekhi thi. Maine kya kya hai ye bakwa. मैंने बाय चांस दो साल पहले या एक साल पहले दोबारा देखी मैंने कहा ऐसी फिल्म बनी नहीं हिंदी इंडस्ट्री में मैंने पूरी कितनी लंबी अपॉलोजी नोट लिखी है बिकॉज आई डन माई फिल्म अप्रिसिएशन कोर्स आई थिंक आई एम मोर इंटाइटल टू बी अ क्रिटिक हैविंग डन अ फिल्म अप्रिसिएशन कोर्स विद एफ टी आई आई मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी बींग ऑन सेट एंड हाफ द क्रिटिक्स नो नथिंग अबाउट सिनेमा सो सेम विद एनिमल पीपल वेंट इन विद एजेंडाज एंड हैड प्रॉब्लम मैं इंसिडेंट बता सकता हूँ बेस्ट बताता हूँ तो मैं ना क्विकली मैं फिल्म में बैठा हूँ मेरे साथ एक लड़का है उसके साथ एक लड़की बैठी है मॉडर्न सी टिपिकल बॉम्बे वाली और फिल्म में चल रही है और वो फिल्म के दो बार उसने आई कैन नॉट वॉच दिस मैं नहीं देखूंगा आई एम लिविंग वेरी एजुकेटेड वूमन अब मुझे नहीं पता वो पहली डेट पे है तो लड़का ऐसे बैठा हुआ है और वो कह रहा है ओके दिस दैट इंटरवल हुआ मैं फटाफट आया इंटरवल के बाद आई हेट इंटरवल्स इन फिल्म्स बट एनीवे आई केम बैक एंड द गर्ल वाज स्टिल सिटिंग कॉन्टेम्प्लेटिंग लुक आई एम लीविंग आई कॉन्ट वॉच दिस ब्ला 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 बट बैठी नहीं है इंटरवल का फिल्म शुरू ही देख रही देखी एक पॉइंट पर कहती दैट्स इट आई एम डन आई एम लीव रणबीर का एक सीन आया मुझे याद और मैं पेट एंड शेम मैं फिल्म में घुसाऊँ बट मेरे साथ बैठ के डिस्कशन चल रही है अच्छा जा तो सडनली बैठ गई वापस फिल्म खत्म हुई है क्रेडिट्स रोल हुए हैं उस बंदे को छोड़ के चली गई मैंने कहा बेटा लेकिन तूने पिक्चर तो पूरी देखी तो पिक्चर तो पूरी देख के गई तूने तीन बार उस बंदे को दुखी किया है लेकिन तू हॉल छोड़ के नहीं गई है तू एजेंडा के साथ आई थी कि मुझे ये फिल्म नहीं लेखनी बिकॉज इट्स एंटी वुमेन इट्स नॉट इट्स इन फैक्ट प्रो वुमेन इन सम लेवल प्रो वुमेन ही इज रियली फाइटिंग फॉर सिस्टर इन लॉर्ड ऑफ द सीन्स सो ये सब जो एजेंडा था ये मुझे बाद में दिखा बट इन द फिल्म इज लार्जली ट्राइंग टू प्रोटेक्ट इज सिस्टर लाइक आई हैव अंगर सिस्टर आई टोटली गेट इट I totally get that. So I don't know where the other things came from. I think a lot of people came with preconceived notions of trying to hate the film, which is ludicrous. You don't want to see the film, don't see the film, right. but don't make a political statement out of it. No, I love the film. I loved it as a genre. Animal Park, Bang, Wanga Reddy sir, meri bhi daadi hai. Maine blue suit mein main baith ke aake piche ban jaunga character. Ek ta mujhe milegi uske baad ki abhi tune Animal Park kiye. How was that? How was the experience of shooting with Ranveer? Okay, let's talk about uh, uh, Ranveer Singh. Okay. You did uh, Rocky and Rani. Hmm. Do you want to share your experience with Ranveer Singh and Alia Bhatt both? Yes, Alia Bhatt. Alia Bhatt, I had met before she became a star. Oh wow! I met her in a pub with some friend, common, and said hi. This that we spoke. So I said, what do you do? She said, I'm an actor and all. Blah 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 blah. blah. And nothing. I just floated with her. That's it. I, I haven't met her, but I saw her on set. Uh, I didn't interact with Alia so much. because that scene was such my basic interaction was with ranveer so i'll tell you about ranveer yeah. but most happy i was jo mujhe khushi hui thi right next to me was amir bashir now that's an actor i truly admire a wednesday if you remember right. but yeah, he played ranveer's course. father of course and he's made some really good film maine ek film making course bhi kiya tha chhota sa ek time pe mm-hmm. to us time pe unhone ek lecture diya tha hame aur main unse tab se unka bahut bada fan hu But anyway, working with Ranveer, what I remember is, मैं U.S. में था COVID के time अपने पापा के पास Bombay आया था, बड़ा sad था, मुझे shoot करने जाना था Delhi for at least two to three days. जब Ranveer की back भी होती थी camera पे और मेरा front था, भाई वो बंदा full power के साथ मतलब एक scene था उसके पता नहीं हमने कितने master किए तो he has to table पे ऐसे ऐसे करना है उसे. Yeah, something I just remember the yeah yeah. So basically some we are in that conference meeting. and he's doing this 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 something here wo i think 20 it takes his energy level for his back did not go down now frankly speaking as an actor i can do that for one two three takes but after that i'll just give Your the energy, cues me you yeah. didn't he was just just his back and his hand for the rest of us sitting on that table so that was very interesting and yeah so i i one more thing about ranveer विच आई रिमेंबर जो आपने पूछा सो आई एम समबडी एज एन एक्टर आई वुड नॉट गो इन आ समबडी की सर कैन आई हैव अ पिक्चर विद यू सर नथिंग कम जॉब आर्ली आई डेंट स्पीक टू मच आई थिंक शी वॉज अनवेल ऑल्सो द डे वी शॉर्ट विद शी वॉज समथिंग वॉज रॉन्ग एंड दे वो वेरी वारेड बट शी डिड द सीन वेरी वेल सो आई डोंट रिमेंबर आई थिंक शी वॉज समथिंग बी पी बी पी उसका कुछ ग्लो हो गया था बेचारी का तो कुछ तो वो मुझे याद है बट रणबीर की मुझे एक चीज़ याद है हमारी चार दिन की शूट खत्म हुई दिल्ली में 
हम बाहर निकले हैं एंड रणवीर एस कम एन सेड ब्रो कैन हैव अ पिक्चर विद यू सो ही इज टेकन अ पिक्चर विद ऑल ऑफ अस या सो ही इज हग्ड एंड आई डोंट नो वाई आई डोंट नो वाई दैट पिक्चर इज ऑन माई इंस्टाग्राम He is hugged me. There was some shawl. We both put the shawl like that, and I kissed him on the cheeks. How sweet! And what I realized later on is he has a habit of kissing multiple people. Yeah, Pankaj yeah. Tripathi ji, jin ko bhi milta hai. But when he did that, I was so overwhelmed. Kya tha, bro? Come, let's take a picture. So his yeah. guy took a picture because I didn't ask. I'd never ever ask. My friends tell me, "You've done this film, this film. Where are the pictures with Akshay Kumar? Mm-hmm. Where are the pictures with Shahid Kapoor, Priyanka Chopra? I don't have any. I've never gone on set and said, 'Can I have a picture?'" को एक्टर्स या वेर इन अ फिल्म टुगेदर पिक्चर क्या लेनी है साथ में सो लूडो पे बट रणवीर केम एंड ही टुक नॉट ओनली विद मी मेरे साथ कुछ ना सीनियर एक्टर्स थे जो कॉन्फ्रेंस मेंबर ही वेंट एंड टुक अ पिक्चर विद ऑल ऑफ देम दैट्स वेरी वेरी स्वीट दिस वाज वेरी नाइस ऑफ हिम बिकॉज़ अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स पीपल शाय अवे फ्रॉम आस्किंग फॉर पिक्चर्स स्पेशली इफ यू आर वर्किंग ऑन द सेट या 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 बिकॉज़ यू हैव नो अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल वाज कमिंग एट द सेम टाइम बट ही केम टू मी एंड सेड कैन आई हैव अ पिक्चर विद यू लेट्स टेक अ पिक्चर बॉडी एंड आई हैव दैट पिक्चर ऑफ किसिंग इन लाइक दैट एंड सो ही इज लाफिंग बिकॉज़ आई थिंक समबडी किस्ड हिम एंड आई थिंक अ ब्रीफ इंटरेक्शन आई थिंक ऑन सेकंड डे ऑफ शूट ही वाज गोइंग इन द लिफ्ट एंड आई सेड रणवीर आई विल ऑलवेज रिस्पेक्ट यू फॉर गली बॉय व्हाट यू डिड इन दैट Yeah. Kata, bro, yeah. I don't even know what I did, but Gully Boy for me, Ranveer Singh is that something he did in that. So yeah, yeah. But I he's agree. a great guy, great guy, I agree. very nice guy, very very nice guy. Okay, so um, Ranveer Singh or Ranveer Kapoor? Ranveer Kapoor, hands down. I love Ranveer Singh. I love him, uh, but I think the the flamboyance off camera is like I'm very simple. Yeah. I'm like a, I don't wear too many branded. Do I? I'm just a very simple guy off screen. so i relate more to the ranveer kapoor side of and also what? i think as an actor you cannot not love ranveer kapoor yeah yeah, right? yeah. it's just there's something about i'll tell yeah. you something very interesting and this is going against what people like us yeah. fight for so when people say nepotism nepotism i get it it is there it is a problem yeah. ranveer kapoor is beyond nepotism why his lineage comes from prithviraj kapoor raj kapoor shami kapoor shashi kapoor rishi kapoor All the Kapoors, okay. There is a whole lineage of Kapoors, but when Ranbir Kapoor comes on screen, it's just Ranbir Kapoor. You don't see anything. I He just like you see anybody else. You'll see the father. You'll see this. You'll maybe, but that guy. And I know that. That's why I said Libran. Like a lot of people don't understand which Mr. Bachchan when he talks certain things. I just get it. Yeah. I just get it. What's going on in the head? And same with Ranbir. I think. Just that on screen, oof! What an actor, man. He's like international level actor, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. International level. So you think he's sort of beaten Al Pacino for you? No, no. That's like oh, Pacino is. People talk about several. I think actors are basically what their films are. That's what. There can be a great actor, and he can do a really horrible film. I'm sure Ranveer has done. I think there's one or two that he's done also, which are horrid. I haven't yeah. seen them, thankfully. but i think as far as many, perform many. as far as performances are concerned to me for somebody it might be marlon brando on the waterfront for somebody it might be de niro in raging bull for me the three greatest performances of all time is godfather 1 al pacino yeah. godfather 2 al pacino scarface al pacino scarface so i can't help it that the three greatest performances are all al pacino al pacino so no, there's no way al pacino is and i share my height fair with enough, him fair enough fair enough we are the same height Like somebody told me, you're not too tall. I said I have Al Pacino in my right hand and Amir Khan on my left, so I'm sorted. <laughs> oh wow, I I didn't know actually. Amir is like very I short. I know about Amir. I didn't know. Al Pacino and me are exact height, five six and a half, five seven. I don't know what it is. Okay. So we're the looks, same height. He actually height. looks much taller on screen. No. So there was he a time. Looks taller. I've always kind of thought of him as. So Coppola uh, gave him feet. insoles in one film to wear, and he says, Al, why are you walking funny? He's like, remove the insoles. Oh. So he says okay, and he says no. He just has that power as an actor. Al Pacino has that power. It's as... who you are from here, also, right? It's the very interesting incident of Pacino, which I want to share with all of your audience. Just yeah, because yeah, I've read yeah, his sure, biography. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So he comes from a very poor background, very theatre loving. The Godfather didn't happen, and then it happened, which everybody knows. But part two, me, he got. He went to the studios, and the studio said, "What do you want, money?" Why? He said, "I just." in my head said a million dollars or something he said okay take it so he got a million dollars and then he stepped out and he's like okay now i'm rich so pacino is walking and he's a simple guy coffee 
he's a cigarette smoker, just walks, does his job, loves it. And then he passed by a Mercedes showroom. I love this when I read this in the book. It's, nobody knows this incident. So he passes by the Mercedes showroom and he's like, eh, maybe I should buy a Mercedes. And then he goes to buy the Mercedes, which is like a really at that point of time in 73 or 76. So he's not sure. He's like, I don't need it. But he just buys it because he's suddenly successful and the Godfather 2 is coming money. So he buys the Mercedes, drives it to his house, parks it outside, goes inside, makes a cup of coffee, is drinking coffee, steps out and the Mercedes is gone. Somebody's what? stolen it. And Pacino sits on the pavement, laughs to himself and he says, there, you deserve it. You didn't want it. You just went and bought it. This is and what you, you deserve. Oh. I love that story about him of somebody who knew that this is not Very. for me. This is not who I am. A Mercedes is not going to, like a lot of people, a car is their definition of arrival. Yeah. I think that's the worst way to kind of, as an actor sometimes to, my God, he's so far Already enough attention is on you. You don't want yeah. any more. So I love that incident of Pacino because when that car went, he's like, Serves you right. And he laughed. He said, I sat on the pavement and laughed. For some reason, I can actually picture this scene, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's there yeah. in Lawrence Grobel's book of uh, Al Pacino. It's a brilliant. And nobody talks about this incident. It's the one that remains with me more than any other. Go ahead, ask. You have always opposed reality shows. Yes. Why? Because I think there's a thin line between you wanting to be an actor and you wanting to be a reality show contestant. What happens here? If you start your career, ki kar rahe, I understand. It's a way to get into the industry. Or your career is completely finished and you know that this is a last straw, so you do it. I just feel that the moment you do a reality show, hmm. like I am writing a short film, films, and I have some friends in mind who are TV actors, hmm. who I respect, who I know I can get. The moment you do a reality show, and I could be wrong, it's a lot of money, I don't have a lot of money, it's a lot of fancy cars and a lot of working. I don't have all of this. These are my mistakes. I've said no to Big Boss four times, Nach Baliye four times, Khatro Ke, Jhalak Dekhla Jai. Everything I've said no to. And when I've been very poor. And this is my mistake because reality is you have to work hard and make But I just feel that the line you have in my Lakshman Rekha is in my mind. If you cross the line and if you have done a Big Boss like a reality show, I don't think any A-grade filmmaker will ever take you seriously. You cannot. The internet is there. You're there all the time. A lot of people come out, think that they'll do wonders because now they've got six million plus followers. Now they're making so much money. Now they've got the fancy car. It's our industry. If you keep the car on the table, on the basis of your per day decide. It's all happening. But I just feel... There are options, of course, somebody might do well, but I really want to know whatever Big Boss, 20 years old, all the fame, who has gone and cracked it after Big Boss, after all the fame and Very all. Very few people, you're right. It only, who? I think, prolongs your lifespan for a bit. It's again the golden goose system. Yeah. You are a goose who will lay an egg every year, maybe some days not, you'll survive. The moment you do a reality show, this is my opinion, this is not for him. I feel, and I know people who are dying to do Big Boss, and they say, you offer to four times, I I just feel the moment, if when you ask me the TV question, I said the channels come and cut the head off. Here you're cutting Harakiri. You're cutting your own head off to take out the golden eggs. And I think, I just think that doing reality shows is good. It's money. Some people it's good, this, that. But I just feel you'll never be taken seriously as an actor again. The right people, there's a lot of people who'll come and say, Sir, kya wo kya ye wo. But the right, honest, genuine, People who know cinema, who know yeah. stories, can never take you seriously. I have a friend that I wrote a short film for. I want to direct it. It's always been him. He's done Big Boss. I can't. I don't know how to. Either I break the cycle myself and give him that role again, or I just cast somebody. I can't think about him anymore. And I really respect actors like Vikrant Massey, who I've worked with. We are people who have, you know, we've all had all these opportunities yeah. to do all this, to make right. all this money. But I've consciously always said no. Always so said no. You and know I, for sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Never? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, I, I think that you should do something else. I don't know, yaar. it's a lot of fame and money and maybe people are right and I'm stupid and I'm wrong. No, but to each its own, right? To each its own, yeah. but I sometimes think that I'm wrong. Because today's date, people like the Big Boss. But I can't do it. I think that my job is to take a job and take a job and take a job and take a job किसी तरह अपनी पर्सनालिटी को उस किरदार के साथ मैच करके उसको करना 
at the most the only reality i can do is an interview with you that's where i can be real but not on a reality show where no strictly no i just but as i said i could be wrong maybe i should do a reality show and i'll become more famous or something i don't no i think you should just follow your heart and your own path yeah yeah but uh, reality shows ki reality hai ki tv pe wohi chal rahe hain zyada tar and they are very famous but i think as i said there is a fine line between wanting to be an actor who's an artist and wanting to be a reality show contestant with whatever i i just feel that's a very thin line some people cross it some people manage it but most people are mistaken i feel especially as an actor as yeah. an actor actor you want if i want to work with a vikramaditya mothwani or an anurag kash these are my aspirations and dream right. the part i don't know maybe if they require a character that way maybe but by and large whether it works out or not i just feel that caliber of those people will never ever take anybody seriously once you've done a reality show e- even for that matter the most a grade a plus a b plus b maybe the c graders will consider you once you've done a reality show and i think it works worse for women more than men men can still navigate out of it somewhere yeah. but for women it becomes very difficult yeah. very very difficult you've got categorized in a thing which you don't know aapne hara kiri kar diya ande nikalne ke liye andar se apne yeah i just feel no so you've been in the industry for so many years more than 15 years right yeah yeah, yeah. so i'm sure you've gone through lull phases you've gone through a lot of rejections how have you dealt with those the hard days the difficult days one is hope to answer your question yeah. belief in yourself and knowing that something good will happen uh, i've uh, my current phase is my most difficult phase because i've done a lot of good work i'm trying to do this netflix amazon aur mujhe bhi matlab wo generally tv actors aate hain na to hum kuch log hain jinko kaam acha aata hai lekin wo बाकी टीवी एक्टर्स जो करते हैं उनके कारण हम भी बेचारे कभी स्लॉट हो जाते हैं बट हम ब्रेक करते हैं बट आई थिंक लेट मी आंसर इट इन अ डिफरेंट वे फॉर योर व्यूअर्स लोग अक्सर पूछते हैं ना एक्टिंग 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 सबको एक्टर बनना है मैं ये कहता हूं एक अगर आप कभी सेट पे आएंगे और बैठेंगे एक बारह घंटे के शिफ्ट आप बोर हो जाएंगे नंबर वन नंबर टू आई थिंक मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली विच पीपल डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड और तेरे को भी ये सवाल आएगा यू नो हाउ I just feel एक आम इंसान डॉक्टर लॉयर इंजीनियर ट्रेडिशनल जॉब कॉपरेट ले लेते हैं आज की डेट में एम बी एज वॉट एवर इफ यू आर द बेस्ट एट योर जॉब देयर एंड इफ यू आर द वर्स्ट लेट्स टेक दीज टू कैटेगरीज एंड मिडल दीज थ्री कैटेगरीज ऑफ पीपल गिविंग रेज्यूमेज वंस दे पास कॉलेज एट ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री टू दी एज ऑफ लेट्स ए ट्वेंटी फाइव टू फोर्टी फाइव एंड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स विल द बेस्ट गाय विल सबमिट इज रेज्यू मे गेट रिजेक्टेड फाइव टाइम्स द मिडल गाय विल गेट रिजेक्टेड फिफ्टी टाइम्स द वर्स्ट गाय विल गेट रिजेक्टेड हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी टाइम्स यू एंड मी एज एक्टर्स गेट रिजेक्टेड हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी टाइम्स इन सिक्स मंथ्स सो पीपल डोंट इट्स प्रॉब्ली द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट प्रोफेशन टू कीप योर होप्स एंड योर बिलीव एंड एवरीथिंग अलाइव बट वेन यू डू दैट वन शो वन फिल्म that resonates it beats 3 years of sitting at home sometimes yeah it sometimes beats like i think covid ke baad i wish rocky and rani had five scenes but even that one scene coming at the right time jaise mujhe pehli baar aaya tumhari diction kitni achhi hai main dekh raha hu diction ke upar kaise aa raha uski bhi ek story hai jo main bhi nahi ghusunga which is something i learned on a karan johar set which i never thought that i would learn such a important acting technique on a dharma production and i have taken that technique for myself After working for 15 years, going as an actor, but उस धर्मा सेट पे इतनी बड़ी कमर्शियल फिल्म पे मुझे एक सीख मिली एक एक्टर की तरह जो मैं अभी हर जगह इस्तेमाल करता हूँ इट्स लवली टू यूज दैट सो आई थिंक इट्स डिफिकल्ट इट्स अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट प्रोफेशन देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ डाउनफॉल्स पीपल ऑलवेज से हैव अ बी प्लान बट आई से द मोमेंट यू हैव अ बी प्लान द ए प्लान गोइंग टू गो आई बिलीव इन प्लान बी इज इन लाइफ नॉट रियली बट इवन बट ऑनेस्टली इस वक्त Uh, I've been through three massive struggles. One is when I came to Bombay. The second was TV के दौरान मैंने फिल्मों में एक shift ली थी जब आपने पूछा था फिल्म तो वो एक shift ली थी उसके बाद एड्स बहुत की थी तो वो भी एक बहुत बड़ा struggle था at least तीन चार साल का लेकिन ये सबसे बड़ा रहा है because वो Netflix, Amazon, TV मैंने किया है एड्स मैं करते रहता हूँ फिल्में भी मैं करते रहता हूँ मुझे कोई डिल्यूजन नहीं है कि फिल्म में मैं हीरो बनूंगा आई एम नॉट maybe lead hero material maybe lead actor material 
बट ओ टी टी के लिए मुझे बड़ा वो होप है कि कुछ तो होगा उसमें you know side like how they used to be those filler yeah. characters I, now I, actors I, are really loved and the, the real actors the one that just known for true. their good craft and that's one thing that i mean i'm starting to realize now is ki pehli baar shayad it's time to upgrade skills kyunki ek hota hai natural but mujhe abhi kitne dost mil rahe hain tv ke wo sab keh rahe hain matlab ye generation of actors kya khatarnak hai they have it. and suddenly mujhe bhi laga okay maybe we are a little out of touch but no some of them have gone to fti nsd some of them courses this that whatever i have not uh, thing i just know yeah. everybody has their own thing but yeah actors today are unbelievably brilliant there is a yeah. new generation in india thankfully i did remix at the right time when we could come and deliver abhi i am ready to deliver as older roles but i think yeah yeah it's phenomenal the kind of work stories directors dps dps editors everything it's it's a massive time for india and i really want to do a good netflix or amazon show bhai mera main number wo hi hai abhi usi ke liye main lad raha hu lad raha hu lad raha hu and i hope it happens so raj have you ever dealt with any sort of depression anxiety or uh, something personal traumatic had happened in my life uh medically speaking very very i won't speak about it it's too personal that's fine yeah. that kind of destroyed me but once i came out of that and it still sometimes haunts me as trauma i don't think anything else affects me but keeping it on a general level mujhe lagta hai ki bahut log mental health ki baatein karte hain lekin agar aap hindustan mein rehte hain mai dekhta hu street ke bacche kuch nahi hai fir bhi hans rahe hain i think aksar foreigners jab india aate hain wo ye side india ka dekhte hain ki are people have nothing but they are so happy i think we should not forget those lessons that we live in a country where a lot of people just having two meals a day is a fight so i think whether you're an actor as long as you have a hope to do something it's good how do i deal with it there are days that i go down a lot sometimes it is i think but by and large i have a happy nature in me but i also feel this is a lot of urban problems it's a lot of urban problems that we have about mental health and depression and which is because we live in a modern society I think it's neurosis that comes to us deep down inside. I don't know Freud would probably put us on couches and ask us about our dreams, aspirations and materialistic positions rather than our deeper psychological problems. But I think everybody has it in their own way. Kai logo ko genuinely bahut problem hoti hai. Main khas kar ladkiyon ko dekhta hu aajkal pata nahi kyun, but ye anxiety term I don't understand the thing, but I know ki anxiety kabhi kabhi hoti hai aapko. But main dekhta hu bahut sari ladkiyon ko bahut jaldi ho rahi hai. it's i don't know what it is is it the internet is it other things is it problems they are facing in their relationships but there is a lot of anxiety within young women that is being spoken about a lot i don't know what it is i personally i just keep a happy frame of mind i believe in god i think that's a good way to i think some people might say i don't believe in god but i think god is a good way of making sense of whatever is not happening and channelizing your energy kabhi kabhi dekhna you might be in a lot of confusion in your personal life and by mistake or by chance or by desire if you walk into a mandir or a church you suddenly come out you suddenly just come out they've designed as such yeah. so again your question i don't know how to answer apart from the fact that ek cheez jo main miss karta hu jo mujhe sabse khush rakhti hai clear blue sky white clouds and sun i think that's the most important when i went through my trauma i was in a very bad state I was nearly dying and stuff but I used to always look at sunshine in my head just to keep coming into me so I don't know again how to answer it as how do you go about it I don't know I think self belief a lot of people advise jo medically speak to somebody I think that's also important having friends main bhi bahut akele rehta hu yahan pe maine bahut baatein ki hain lekin itni baatein karne ke baad main 3 din apne aap ke sath rahunga I think we all go through phases in life you all you know uh, face failures more yeah. than we face success right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so and there are times th- situations that really like throw you off balance that put you in the dark places you can go in depression anxiety and yes. i think it's a very very common you know feeling people a lot of people go through it and the reason why i'm asking you is because so people should know that everybody goes through it yeah yeah so i i've not had work for a long time sometimes an ad comes how do you cut in day in day out how do you do it one way is एज एक्टर्स हम बड़े लकी हैं इस चीज़ में 
अगर आप डॉक्टर हो लॉयर हो इंजीनियर हो कॉरपोरेट हो और अगर आपको अपना स्किल सेट इम्प्रूव करना है तो आप अपने प्रोफेशन के बारे में पढ़ते हैं ये लेकिन एक्ट्रेस का काम क्या है पिक्चरें देखना शोज देखना इट्स इट्स लाइक जस्टिफाइड टू वॉच फिल्म और मैं ये देखता हूँ एंड समो लेट मी आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर एवरीबडी एंड दिस इज समथिंग आई रियलाइज इन द मिडल एक फेज था मुझे लग रहा था इतना कुछ आ रहा है डज एनी थिंग मेक एनी सेंस आई थिंक जब कॉन्टेंट आना शुरू हुआ पहले क्या होता था हम वी एच एस लेते थे डी वी डी एक फिजिकल फॉर्मेट था एक फिल्म का इट वॉज अ मटीरियलिस्टिक थिंग दैट यू हेल्ड इन योर हैंड एंड इट मेट बट द मोमेंट इट स्टार्ट बिकमिंग कॉन्टेंट इट्स अप इन दी एयर इट गोज बट मैं ये भी सोचता हूँ एक डॉक्टर हो एक लॉयर हो एक कॉपरेट हो एक हाउस वाइफ हो पूरा दिन उसके दिन में जो भी कुछ गड़बड़ हुई है लाइफ इज गोइंग बैड शी कम्स बैक एंड वॉच इज अ फिल्म और अ शो एंड शी इज ट्रांसपोर्टेड टू अनदर वर्ल्ड मे बी शी लर्न समथिंग मे बी देर एंटरटेन बाई समथिंग सो आई थिंक दैट्स अ गुड वे ऑफ गेटिंग डिप्रेशन वॉच गुड कॉन्टेंट एंड वॉच मीनिंग फुल कॉन्टेंट आई डोट नो दैट्स बेस्ट आई कैन गिव आई डो like people go to the gym of- people go to the gym i don't go to the gym i haven't gone to the gym in 20 years uh, i watch films all the time and i think kya hota hai ki ab mujhe samajh aa raha hai aapka kai logon ke liye genuinely bahut problem hoti hai hmm. i like my own company i'm happy with myself the most i like watching films all the time my day i can watch three films back to back aaj ki date mein i can watch content non stop for 6 to 8 hours so i'm okay that way that way i'm fine how do you deal with it otherwise god hope self belief not giving up sticking to your goal and if you get down well then that's a part of life you will come out of it that's the best i can say if there is a down and there is an up that's the best i can say that kabhi kabhi aap gir jate hain jaise mere ko bhi beech mein do teen din ke liye main turmoil mein chala gaya main matlab itna dukhi ho gaya main went so low aur wo hota hai bahut baar aksar mere sath bhi hota hai just go into a whirlwind Yeah. कभी कभी फिल्म्स नहीं होती एक बार मुझे याद है आमिर खान की एक फिल्म थी जिसमें करीना कपूर और राजकुमार राव और राजकुमार राव का रोल मुझे प्ले करना था और मैं तीन बच्चों में से सिलेक्ट हुआ था मुझे लगा था मुझ जैसे इंसान के लिए आमिर खान के साथ फिल्म करना बस इससे ज़्यादा क्या चाहिए मुझे याद है वो फिल्म मेरे हाथ से मैं जोया अख्तर के ऑफर्स गया था मेरा नाम लिखा हुआ था तीन लोगों का इनमें से एक जब वो फिल्म गई थी मैं छः हाँ तलाश तलाश मैं छः महीने टेल स्पिन में चला गया था वो सबसे लंबा टेल स्पिन था मेरा कि मैं छः महीने गुम ही हो गया था मैं उभर मैं बाहर ही नहीं निकल पा रहा था उससे कि अरे यार क्योंकि उस वक्त एक आपने टीवी छोड़ दिया था काम पैसे आपको एक फिल्म मिली आप और ओ टी टी तो था नहीं कुछ भी आप हो भी नहीं थी मुझे याद है वो छः महीने मुझे याद है मैं निकल ही नहीं पाया था अब मुझे याद नहीं मैं कैसे निकला था बट वो मुझे भी याद है कि एक बहुत ही एक डाउन फेज आया था बीच में और भी आए हैं इतने प्रोजेक्ट्स लूज होते हैं इतनी चीज़ें हाथ से जाती हैं बट आई डोंट नो व्हाट द कोपिंग मैकेनिज्म इज आई देर इज अ सिस्टम आउट देयर और यू मेक अ सिस्टम फॉर योरसेल्फ माय सिस्टम फॉर माय सेल्फ इज वर्क्स फॉर मी एनीथिंग फ्रॉम फोटोग्राफी फोटोग्राफी यस ओके नो आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू वंडर वॉट इट इज सो इफ यू कैन नॉट दैट आई कैन मैंशन द वर्ड आई थिंक इन द लास्ट फोर्टीन ईयर्स after being a very successful tv actor if i have gone through and i've been through a lot of failure and i would not call myself very successful in a traditional sense of whatever but i think the last 14 years have been very difficult for me i mean jo aap bol rahe hain technically i should have odaofied myself you know yeah 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 it that that came at a that photography saved my life got- i i photography entered my life at a time where i was asking god for a skill i was very successful as an actor at one point but i was like yaar kuch wo haathon mein kala honi chahiye yeah. kai log draw kar sakte hain aap draw karti hain maine aapke bare mein suna hai yeah. kai log music play kar sakte hain kai there is some kind of skill set yeah to mujhe laga tha us time jab actor mein remakes kahani kuch aur kar raha tha successful tha maine suddenly god se ek aash mangi ki mujhe kuch kala do haath ke liye lekin meri handwriting achhi nahi hai i don't have sculpture maine kiya tha i didn't have that but photography entered my life by god's blessing it wasn't me it was a very divine moment aur usne 14 saal mujhe now i found the answer i was like trying to wonder that how did i cut these years of down photography photography so i became a street photographer not a fashion photographer street photography it entered my life as divine light in my in a moment in a moment it entered that kept me creatively 
occupied as an artist, which is what I am, yeah. gave me an avenue. And even today, on an average, I will spend an hour just reading about photography, Photo. even though I've been doing it for 14 years. I'll watch a documentary, I'll learn to edit more. That has kept me alive. So I think maybe another skill that you're passionate about uh, is very, very important. important. So very, very, that I have to let go of photography, which Because in acting, I used to post picture post on Instagram, on Instagram ka ek likes ka bhi psychological hota hai. Lekin, I was getting so much appreciation from all across the world for my work as a photographer that that would give me a satisfaction and wo jo, as an actor ka wo tha, wo mujhe wo cover up karte tha. Mujhe ek time pe laga tha, eight ten saal ke baad ki I need to let go of this. It's keeping me too boxed up, mentally content, yeah. just doing this art form. So photography for me was an answer. For you, it's maybe painting. painting yeah, for yeah, somebody for else. Sure. It's listening to music or learning an instrument. Could be gardening, uh, could be growing your own tomatoes and potatoes at home, could be cooking. But I think those things are very important in whatever the other achievements that we all are running towards and that we have desires for materialistics and expectations. I think is to find a... And I think maybe mujhe bahut logo ne bola tha, will you shoot for money and all? I said, ye mein kabhi nahi karunga. Ye is kala ko mein wo पैसों के लिए नहीं करूँगा ये मेरे अपने लिए ही है क्योंकि ये मुझे वो खुश रखती है कंटेंट रखती है और मुझे कॉन्स्टेंटली इट मेक्स मी लर्न इट मेड मी लुक एट लाइफ फार मोर डीपली अभी मैं स्ट्रीट पे चलता हूँ मुझे नॉट दैट आई सी मोर देन बट आई सी मोर परमिटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन कलर्स आई सी डीपर इन लाइफ because of being a photographer somewhere. Yeah, it's yeah. the same so, yeah. for me also. I observe things much better, you know, when I started painting. Now I would see every scene that I would see, I would be talking to you for me, I would be looking at you. It's a perspective shift that just sometimes happens when I zone out and I will be seeing one frame as a painting. How would this look as a painting? So, yeah, it just happened, honestly. Are you doing abstract or are you doing still? What are you doing? I, I'm, I've not seen much of your work, to be very honest. I just heard from a friend that you're doing very successfully as a painter selling at very high prices. I'm doing all sort of art. I'm doing figurative, I'm doing uh, abstract. I started my clothing brand, hand-painted clothing brand. Okay. All those cool jackets you see me wearing whenever we bump into each other, those are all painted by me. What are the three life lessons that you've learned and maybe you'd like to pass on that information to me, to all the audience? Uh, this works personally for me. I don't know whether it works in the real world. But Jesse, up, you become older, there are simpler life lessons which have stuck. Number one, I don't know why this works for me, but it works. Bachpan mein hum sab jo Hindustan ke kisi bhi school mein gaye, ek life lesson aata hai. Honesty is the best policy. I kind of stick by that. I think aap ek jhoot bolne ke liye, aap saw jhoot aapko aur bolne ke It's best to be honest with yourself and with other people. Others. It does cause certain problems sometimes. But I think in the value system of life, so my first is honesty is the best policy. The other is, which I didn't understand, and you have asked a in context, so when I studied in my boarding school in Lovedale, Uti, we had a song in our school. Song. Never give in is the motto of our school. Ab ye never, na, give in? never give in is the motto of our school. Laurentians, whatever. Okay. You have these advices, aap in your youth, you hear these things again and again and again. Never give up, never give up, never give up. Shad, aapko samaj nahi aati us wakat. Aapko bas ek lagta hai ki koi bol raha hai. I honestly feel that's the most important. Do not give up. Do not give up, I think. Just, that's the second advice that I can give. Third, it could be a toss. Advice, I don't know, advice, maybe a saying. Or maybe a message for the audience, for the youth, upcoming actors. This connotes to at least three questions that you asked me about uh, depression, trauma, these things, that thing. I think a lot of people can get carried away by a lot of things in this industry. And by and large, the industry is very professional, very hardworking. They said TV, there is no time. You have to go and deliver. But I think one advice that I'll give is something I'd read a long time ago. It's a French proverb, which kind of I hold dear to me which I think a lot of people go through depression and this and that because they have done stupid things thinking that it will get them somewhere, be it cheating or money or this, that. A French proverb hai, jiski English translation is that there is no softer pillow 
than a clear conscience. There's no softer pillow to sleep at night when you go to sleep huh. at night than a clear conscience. Okay. You might have a fancy bag, you might have a fancy car, uh, you might have a lot of money, you might be tax evading, you might be cheating, you might be doing wrong. But to sleep with a clear conscience is I think very important for you to not suffer through a lot of things. So I, as long as your conscience, and as actors I think being honest is very important, uh, not giving up. And this is me just clear conscience because I realized the three other questions you asked. And that way I would, but I think one advice that I have kind of made up of my own, a lot of people ask me, you know, like, what is the meaning of happiness? I don't know. It's subjective to everybody. How do you achieve happiness? I don't know. It's maybe you get it in a red Ferrari. Maybe you get it in a lot of money or a bag. But one thing I can be sure about is one of the key to happiness is, is simplicity. The simpler you try to maintain things around you, yeah. the happier you will be. So I think that's also very important to have a certain amount of simplicity. You might deal with complicated situations, but at least when you come back home and all, try to keep your life as simple as possible. It'll give you a certain sense of happiness. Like I said, I just like looking at, as like there is nothing happening for one month of shooting. But Bombay mein itni pollution hai aajkal ki, I hate it. But if I see the clear blue sky with white cloud, my whole day goes That's very well. That's a happy day. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm one of those people, as a grown-up man, will go and fight for the window seat in a plane, a train, a car, a bus. I give window seat. Yeah, yeah, I, I love seeing clothes. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't understand people who sit on the plane, window seat, on the laptop. Pe ba- I, 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 look at that, man. I just stare outside and be happy. So I don't know. Yeah, these are simple things. One more thing is coming to my mind in college I'd read when I first started reading books. Think like a bohemian, live like a bourgeois. Meaning think like an artist, live like a... King? Well, like an upper middle class person. I kind of like that thought process also. Be an artist in your head and your soul, but in your daily lives you should live a little. I, I don't know, but I've given you the best that I could right now. of it. But I think be simple, be honest, have a clear conscience. Do not give up. Don't get carried away by other people. People are constantly trying to show off with things. You don't know what what the debt they are in just to show off to you with a fancy car or a, some bloody Gucci Pucci bag or whatever. Don't get taken in by all this. We all do, even I do, by all this nonsense. But I think somewhere down the line, you should just have yourself grounded, be it as an artist or a corporate or whatever you do. Aksar aap dekhenge middle class logo ko jab aap dekhte, unke paas bada kam hota hai, jaysa hum sab middle class. They're happy, there's a sense of groundiness and you'll often see the big guys fall very hard. So that also you should always remember that if you want to reach the top, I think there's an honest way to do it. Maybe there's a dishonest way to do it. I don't know, man. Maybe I should I should try the dishonest way, but I haven't tried it still, so I'm still fine that way. Okay, maybe uh, if you could travel back in time and uh, change one bad decision that you took, what would that be? Seldom live in the past. Tend to live a lot in the future. I've learned to live in the present most of the time, thankfully. But if I had to go into the past and change something, I can't think of anything, but if I have to be honest with myself completely, a little bit more uh, out there, being desperate. I, I, you know, kind of hustle. hustle. I'm not a very good hustler. I'm a little bit of a, things will happen when they happen, which is not a good thing. I sometimes feel ki, actually, no, I'm not a hustler. I, I wouldn't want to go back. What would I change? Nothing really as such, yeah, to be honest. No regrets. No, it's not a question of no regrets. I wish that everybody has regrets. It's very easy for everybody to sit in an interview and say, I have no regrets. Of course, we all have regrets. But I actually don't have any. Maybe, I like smoking also. That's the one thing out of cheat to smoke. Maybe trying to be a little bit more desperate or hustling for work a little. I just went for auditions, 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 auditions. I didn't know that, you know, you... You irritate people with constant messages saying, Sir, please, sir, mujhe kaam de do, mainga, sir, please, sir, sir, please. I, I couldn't do that. I was working hard, whether it's successful or not. Audition, audition, audition. Sir, do I fit the bill? Can I audition? Can I audition? Is there an audition happening? I miss that post-COVID. It doesn't happen yet. So I think a little bit, maybe a little bit more of a smarter hustler, which I'm not. But again, I believe in the universe and <laughs> right things come at the right time. Some people are lucky all the time. Some people are lucky never, some people are lucky sometimes. I'm okay with sometimes as long as the luck is there. So yeah, no regrets, I guess. Okay. None really. Do you think you would have made a better lawyer than an actor? No. 
No. No, not at all. I mean, you only fought one case and you won that, so. Again, I'm a good speaker. Yeah. So I would have maybe, but there's a lot of technical jargon also. Yeah. I would have dared no, definitely. But the, it's good to uh, law is a very realistic. That's one thing we don't understand. It governs every day of daily life, in the structured life that we live in, especially when you go to the states and other westernized countries. Uh, the laws are the, are the parameters within which society is founded, and there are a lot of intricacies. But no, definitely an actor. Always would want to be an artist. I was very clear when I was young. Not only did I want to be an actor, that I don't want to get married. That was again a divine intervention that came. Don't get married. So I said, okay. I had a lot of and uh, artist, 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 artist. I even today, the worst case scenario, I feel I rather have. Be an artist, then be a corporate. The only intermingling that I would have done, if I could, was probably try and be an architect. Architect. An architect. If agar aaj main as a grown up man, if I had been given a choice to study something, I would not study acting. In a parallel universe, you could have. I would not study acting. I would not study law. Acting because I think either it comes to you or not. Law because whatever. But I would have studied architecture. I would have definitely studied architecture. It's something that I love. Okay, so I'll come to the last question, which is: Are you a spiritual person? Very. Okay, so you know, as a spiritual being, we often maybe wonder about the question, which is: Who am I, and who are you? So, do you think you've somewhere figured that out, or do you have some sort of understanding of that? Yes, of course. If you're a spiritual person, you're constantly evaluating yourself. I think when I was younger, maybe my spirituality was a selfish spirituality. that i wanted things from god and to maybe maybe fame as an actor or do great things but recently i went through a shift where i analyzed myself again as a grown up and that will again change i guess in 5 to 10 years time but i realized one thing i think i was speaking to your director also one is a life speaking but what i realized is when people ask me are i was in long relationships i was like a lot of people you know in this life are constantly मुझे प्यार चाहिए मुझे वो प्यार करने वाला चाहिए ये वो आई रियलाइज फॉर मी इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू गिव लव दिस रियलाइजेशन आई हाँ फॉर मी देख कई लोगों को होता है उनको प्यार चाहिए अरे ये मुझे प्यार नहीं मुझे ये चाहिए मुझे रियलाइज मुझे ज्यादा मटीरियलिस्टिक चीजें नहीं चाहिए मैंने घर भी पहला खरीदा बुक्स और डी रखने के लिए अब अपने बट मुझे ये रियलाइजेशन आई है इस वक्त जो मेरा इस मुकाम है लाइफ में कीपिंग साइड गॉड स्पिरिचुअल I like to give love, and I love giving it. I love giving love. I love talking to people. मेरे दोस्त हैं, I love hugging them like a child. मेरी girlfriend है, तो I love hugging her all the time and pulling her cheeks or whatever. Do you have a girlfriend right now? No, I'm single as hell. Okay. Very happy. बड़ी लंबी relationship में था. Please, I'm single if you meet me. And no, I'm not married or something as the bio data says. But I love giving love. I miss giving love. और ये एक, as you're saying, spiritual right now. so in the mountains i had a thing i i experienced certain very puristic things i believe a lot i'm i'm a hindu so i believe a lot of energies and i just want to give like now there is a phase in life i don't have much in life i'm not a very rich man i basically i have a home simple trying to be an actor but ye mujhe samajh aa gayi hai whenever things happen it's something to give sometimes as an actor also you give people come and give you love I'm very normal. I love giving love back to them. I love talking to them. कितने लोग आते हैं? I love giving love back to people. I I don't know. I meet people, and I just and so it's so that's who you are. I don't know. I, I, You're a lover. <laughs> yeah, in the sense, मुझे अभी realize होता है कि कोई ज़्यादा मेरे को करता है ना मैं थोड़ा सा अजीब हो जाता हूँ मुझे इतना नहीं ज़रूरत है मैं अपने आप I feel a little shy. But दूसरों को देना मुझे बड़ा अच्छा लगता है. I really want to kind of give. Watch. I don't know why. I don't know why this But is. But that's because everybody has their own love language, right? Some people like receiving. Some people believe in materialistic love. They like receiving gifts, and that's how they feel loved. Some people are just very happy with if you give them a handwritten note, they're very happy. So everybody has their own love language. Yeah, I love giving love. I I, I somehow I realized that, and like, I want to give like well, something. Very sweet, yeah, yeah, I don't know. This some uh, I was with somebody, and he. ask me something about relationship only and do you miss being i was like i don't know i just miss giving love morning to evening to that person like constant 
It's like, that's a very interesting thing. So I was like, oh, it's like, that's different. So I didn't realize that. So maybe I'm in that stage. I don't know, tomorrow I might be in a position where I want power and I want some kind of other zone and I might be corrupted or darker. If that's the case, that's the case. But at this phase, I like giving love. I always do. I always have. Yeah. I always will also. That's very sweet. Okay, well, thank you so much. This has been so amazing. I really enjoyed talking to you. It was a lot of fun. I met you after so many years. And we finally got to really know each other. And uh, it's been amazing. Thank you, Ekta. Thank you, thank so, you much. so much. And I hope uh, people sit through the interview and see something. And I really enjoyed myself. I was talking about it, talking about it, talking about it. But thank you so much, Ekta. Thank you so and much. And all the best thank with this so show. I look forward to seeing more interesting people on your show. For sure, for and sure. And yeah. seeing in different kinds of people from all over. But I had a great time. And thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Bye, 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 bye.